Bharatiya Janata Party Central Election Committee will meet in Delhi today. During the meeting, a decision is likely to be taken on the second list of candidates for the upcoming Bihar Assembly polls. BJP has decided to contest 160 seats in the 243-member Bihar Assembly, leaving the remaining to its allies, Lok Chan Shakti Party, Hindustani Awam Morcha and Rashtra Lok Samta Party. Janata Dal United, Rashtriya Janata Dal and Congress are also likely to declare the seats for the forthcoming Bihar Assembly polls today. According to the seat-sharing formula announced by the three parties, the Congress will contest 40 seats while the RJD and the JDU will contest 100 seats each. The Election Commission has now introduced a specific symbol for none of the above, nota option, like other election symbols. This is to facilitate the voters in exercising their nota option. The symbol will now appear in the last panel on all EVMs and other ballot papers against the none of the above option. Nota option is to enable electors who do not wish to vote for any of the candidates. President Pranab Mukherjee went around the commemorative exhibition Shoranjali on India's stupendous victory over Pakistan in the 1965 war. The president paid tributes to the war heroes who laid down their lives in the war. Government has reiterated its firm resolve to roll out GST and ease of doing business reforms at the earliest. Addressing the Singapore summit, Finance Minister Arun Jetley said that the government has taken various initiatives to revive stalled projects, especially in the infrastructure sector. The Finance Minister stressed that there is urgent need to step up growth as India has the potential to achieve double-digit growth. Three Naxalites were killed in an anti-Maoist operation in Odisha's Malkangiri district at around 9.30 in the morning. One of the Naxalites has been identified as Sunadhar, who is a Maoist leader from the neighboring state of Chhattisgarh. The Odisha government had declared a bounty of 5 lakh rupees for Sunadhar. The other two Naxalites have not been identified yet. Dengue continues to be the major hazard for Delhi and other parts of the country. So far, 21 people have fallen prey to this deadly disease in the national capital. On the other hand, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh are facing a scare of swine flu. The government has said that international relations, particularly with neighboring countries, have to be studied before taking a decision over declassification of files relating to Subhash Chandra Bose. Referring to the West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee's remarks that the centre also has to declassify the files, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaya Naidu said the government will examine all issues relating to it and consider what has to be done and when to do it. Enforcement Directorate has registered a money laundering case at Bikaner in Rajasthan involving a real estate firm allegedly linked to Robert Badra, the son-in-law of Congress President Sonia Gandhi. The ED sources have said that a criminal case has been registered under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. It will soon issue summons and question the accused involved, including some unknown private entities. External Affairs Ministers Shushma Swaraj met families of 39 Indians held captive in Iraq. The minister assured them about the well-being of their family members, saying all the Indians held hostage by IS militants for more than one year are alive. Swaraj met the families for the eighth time since the abduction. Islamic State militants had abducted three Indians in June last year from Mosul. An expo of old and unique collection of coins and stamps is drawing crowds in Kochi. The Coin Expo 2015 is being organized by the Kerala Numismatic Society from September 18 to September 20. The Expo is displaying coins that were in circulation during the Alexander era, the Gupta period and the Mughal dynasties, among others. To mark the day, the Coastal Cleanup Drive is being organized in Chennai. City residents and naval personnel participated in the drive, which is themed as Fighting for Trash-Free Seas. The day is dedicated to the improvement of beaches, coastal regions and surrounding areas throughout the world. Japan's parliament voted into law on Saturday a defence policy shift that could let troops fight overseas for the first time since 1945. This is a milestone in Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's push to loosen the limits of the pacifist constitution on the military. Abe says the shift is the biggest change in Japan's defence policy since the creation of its post-war military in 1954. Israel carried out airstrikes on the Gaza Strip after Palestinian militants fired rockets into southern Israel. Officials and witnesses said the strikes targeted two training camps belonging to the militant group Hamas. No injuries have been reported so far. India today lost the doubles rubber of the Davis Cup World Group playoff against the Czech Republic and are now trailing 1-2 in the tie. In the Davis Cup match played in New Delhi, the duo of Radek Stepanik and Adam Pavlasek defeated the pair of Indians, Leander Pays and Rohan Bopana in straight sets, 7-5, 6-2, 6-2, helping the Czech Republic retain the lead in the playoff.